Unity just announced something big the other day, like really big. This new initiative they're kicking off is something that the game development community has been needing for a very long time, whether they know it or not. And this initiative comes under the name of Unity Open Projects. Unity Open Projects are games created by Unity in collaboration with the game development community. So today I'm going to talk about this new initiative, what their first project is, and how you can contribute to this game yourself. But before I do that, I'd just like to say if you do find today's video helpful and enjoyable, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about Unity game development topics. Of course, if you have any questions on anything or suggestions for any future videos, you can always leave those down in the comment section below. So the main idea behind Unity Open Projects is to get the community more involved in the development of games. Of course, Unity has a bunch of beginner level type tutorials to help get you up and running, and those are all fantastic in their own right, but once you go beyond that, things start to get a little more crazy. Just because in game development, there are so many different ways you can go about solving all the different problems that your specific game may have, there's never really a one-size-fits-all solution to these things. However, with these open projects, it's different because we're going to be creating one single game together and then based off of the specific challenges that we face while developing that specific game, then we can make certain design decisions as well as programming implementation decisions to solve the specific problems that we're running into in the game that we're creating. And instead of this game being just kind of created by Unity in a vacuum and then just released out to the community, and then maybe with some documentation about why they made some certain decisions, the community is going to be involved the whole entire way. So as development progresses and we run into certain problems that we need to solve, we can kind of have discussions about different ways that that problem may be solved, and then we can come to a conclusion about which solution makes the most sense for this project. And I think these kinds of things are going to be incredibly beneficial for people who mostly develop games as a hobby and haven't necessarily worked for a game development company, because we can see the entire process of creating a game from you know the very first you know, beginnings of concept and prototyping, and then actually evolving that by implementing these gameplay mechanics, and then end up creating a fully released game that's going to be available on Steam. And I'll read off a quote from Chiro, who's pretty much the head of this new development initiative, and it says that we created open projects to give you a taste of a realistic game project where you have the freedom to get hands-on in your areas of expertise, try out new skills, or just sit back and learn. So I think that really encapsulates what Unity Open Projects is trying to do. So if you do want to follow along with the development of this game, I'm going to include a ton of links down in the description below. So of course the code for this project is going to be stored on their GitHub. They also have a forum section in the Unity forums where that's going to be um, kind of the main hub for all the communication between different people you know, talking about what they're working on and if they're running into issues, you know, how to solve certain problems. They're using this cool tool called Codex to basically track the roadmap of the game. And that's kind of where the, you know, main tasks are actually going to be tracked about what's completed and what still has to be done. And they have another tool called Miro, which shows kind of the flow and progress of the game, basically, you know, starting from the title and main menu and then loading into the game and then kind of what that basic gameplay loop looks like. And they also are going to be doing live streams every other week. And basically on there, they're going to talk about the kind of development progress of the game. And then we can kind of hash out some of the uh, different topics about the development of the game that we you know still need to discuss so as of right now for this first project they've already started the development of it a little bit so they do have kind of the main concept of the idea of the game that they want to create kind of what the general scope is they do have some concept art and a little bit of prototyping stuff to play around with so they basically announced that this is going to be a 3d adventure game it's kind of centered around this like pig who's a chef and i guess he goes to this island in search of some um, ancient recipe and it seems like there's gonna be some basic combat in the game so it seems like a pretty fun concept for a game and I think a lot of the things that we're going to be implementing during the development of this game are going to apply to a lot of the different games that you may be wanting to make so this is going to be a really good learning opportunity for you even if you're just looking at some of the source code and seeing the different ways that we chose to solve some of the problems that we ran into. So again, as of right now, it's basically just in the very beginning phases and the entire content of the game still needs to be created. So that is where you come in. So of course, because this is an open source project, anyone regardless of skill level is able to participate in the development of this game. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that your contributions will be accepted to the game, and we can talk a little bit more about that later. 
but I do just want to talk about you know why you might want to contribute to the development of this game. So of course the number one reason is going to be experience. You know this is going to give you actual real world experience of what it's like to work on a development team working on a large project. Now of course the you know development team in this case can be you know many hundreds or even thousands of people which isn't necessarily realistic for what a development studio would be, but you are still going to get that experience of what it's like working with other people and then working on your communication skills. Next up, if you do contribute to this game, that is going to be a huge addition to your resume or portfolio, you know, to say that you contributed and you actually made some meaningful contributions to this Unity open source project initiative. That's going to be really, really important if you are trying to get a job in the games industry or maybe some freelance work later on. Not only does it show you have the actual game development skills, but it's going to pretty much prove that you have the required communication skills, you're able to conform to the team standards, and you can just work in a team very well. Now, another thing that this game is going to teach people is about scope. So essentially the scope of this game is they want to create like a vertical slice or a demo of the game. So the idea is you can play through this game in maybe like 10 or 15 minutes or so. And it's basically just a way that you can show off the idea of the game, you know, kind of what it is. And this is kind of the stage that you would want to be at if you were maybe releasing a Kickstarter or you were sending off your game to different publishers to get some funding to actually make the you know full feature length game that you do want to. And so I think this is gonna show a lot of people what it really takes and what goes into making a project of even just this 10 to 15 minute scope and kind of showing the required planning for even making just that amount of scope for a game. Um, Unity has set up a bunch of really cool tools that kind of show the whole flow of the game and the content that does need to be created for that. And then finally, this is of course just going to be a way to learn new things. You know, whether you're contributing to the game or not, and you're kind of just following along with things, you're definitely going to learn a lot because of course there's going to be people discussing things in the forums, they're going to be doing live streams every other week talking about you know different things that are going on in the development of the game and of course if you're just browsing around through the code base you're pretty much guaranteed to learn something new and figure out you know how different problems were solved during the development of this game so finally I do just want to talk about how you can actually contribute to this game project yourself so Dapper Dino actually put up a video on his YouTube channel Again, I'll leave that in my massive list of links down in the description below. And basically just kind of goes through the whole workflow of how to actually make contributions to the game. So it essentially starts in the kind of codex section where you're looking through all the different tasks and bugs that need to be fixed. So you know you go through there, you find something that you think you can take care of, and then you go over to the forums, you create a new forum post over there and say, you know, hey, this is something that I want to work on. You know, I think I can do that. And here's kind of some proposed solutions I may have. And then basically once you get the green light, make sure no one else is working on it. Then you can essentially fork the GitHub repository so you kind of have your own little self-contained version of that repository. Of course, you're gonna go make your changes. You're gonna commit your changes to that repository. And once you have that completed, you can actually create a pull request to the main GitHub repository. And that pull request is basically just gonna say, hey, you know, these are the changes that I've made and I'm ready to actually try and submit them to be accepted into the game. And then the people at Unity, they're gonna go ahead and kind of review everything, make sure it all looks good, make sure you actually do um, solve the problems that you are trying to solve, make sure you're not you know, introducing any new bugs or anything like that. And then so at that point, they'll either accept your pull request, and if you did, congratulations, that's awesome that you've contributed to the project, um, or they may reject your pull request, and then they'll kind of give you some explanation of why they rejected it, maybe it isn't, um, up to their standards or there was something you did wrong in the process, but they will let you know. But anyways, I just wanted to chat a little bit about Unity Open Projects because I think it's such a really awesome initiative. Please do let me know down in the comment section below if this is something that you are planning on participating in. I know I definitely am going to be participating in it myself. So hopefully I can get some major pull requests in there and maybe even get on some of those live streams that they're gonna be doing every other week and just kind of chat about the development progress of the game. Um, again, and maybe if I made some significant changes, I can talk about those a little bit. So of course, this is gonna be a great way to get the whole community involved in creating one game. And I think it's gonna give a ton of great experience to a bunch of people who maybe are just kind of making games as a hobby for now and they want to transition into making games as an actual career 
I think this is going to be really beneficial for those kinds of people. So again, I'd love to hear about what you think about Unity Open Projects down in the comments section below. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos on Unity game development topics. Anyways, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.